Good afternoon. My name is Charlotte Frederiks and I'm a PhD candidate at the University Medical Center of Utrecht, the Netherlands. On behalf of all co-authors from the Dutch Barrett Expert Centers, I'm proud to present our research entitled Incidents and Outcomes of Poor Healing in Poor Squamous Regeneration After Radiofrequency Ablation Therapy for Early Barrett's Neoplasia. Although endoscopic eradication therapy with RFA is effective in the majority of patients with Barrett's esophagus, a subgroup of patients is unable to convert Barrett's mucosa into normal squamous epithelium. Some patients experience delayed esophageal healing with active inflammatory changes, while others experience regeneration with Barrett's mucosa instead of squamous epithelium, so-called poor squamous regeneration. Few data are currently available on these two phenomena, and therefore we aim to evaluate the incidence and outcomes of poor healing and poor squamous regeneration. For that purpose, we use data from a nationwide registry, including all patients who underwent eradication therapy for Barrett's neoplasia in the Netherlands. All treatments were performed in nine expert centers according to a joint treatment and follow-up protocol. For the current study, we included all patients that underwent at least one RFA treatment. The cohort consisted of 1,386 patients, of which 90% had no signs of poor healing or regeneration. 98% of these patients was successfully treated. Poor healing occurred in 10% of the cohort. Additional time between RFA treatments with or without additional acid suppression, resulted in complete healing of the esophagus in all 134 patients. Upon complete healing, normal regeneration was seen in 50%, of which 97% was successfully treated. Overall, poor squamous regeneration was seen in 5%, which was preceded by poor healing in a majority of cases. In this group, only 36% achieved complete eradication. These patients did not only carry a significant risk for treatment failure, but also for progression to advanced cancer that exceeded boundaries for endoscopic therapy. Based on all these observations, we present a number of practical advices for the management of poor healing and poor squamous regeneration. These may help to guide physicians who often struggle what to do with this challenging subgroup of RFA patients. Thank you for your attention.